I would like just to focus on uh, how do we see um, uh, resilience and how do we see it as part of the Paris Agreement and what are we doing uh, back home. So for example in Saudi Arabia we put an ambition for ourselves that we wanted to make sure that we're going to avoid 130 million tons of carbon by 2030 annually. And that is basically, if we take it within a perspective, it is basically one third of Saudi Arabia's emission at, in 2012. Uh, Saudi Arabia has already uh, you know, uh, came out with their vision 2030 that fully integrate the INDCs in that vision. We also have an institution right now that has been assigned to work on the MRVing all the emissions that we have uh, between now and 2030. And on the basis of that, we will be reporting on, a, on an annual basis of how much have we reduced as we move forward. One great uh, resource that we have in that region, which is going to be uh, very important as we move forward, is water management and water resources. And in an arid region like our region, that would really make a big difference because every uh, you know, gallon of water that we have to save is a gallon of water that we will not have to produce at one time uh, in the future. Which means that if we don't have to produce it, then we don't have to desalinate it. And that would come back with great opportunities with reductions. So we, we felt that that was a great opportunity for us to focus on water management and see what are the possibilities in doing as much as possible reduction on that system and at the same time conserve water and make sure that we are taking all those environmental actions that are supposed to be done to make sure that we are using and producing and using water in a sustainable manner. Basically, uh, in a summary, I would say that you know our INDC is a resilience INDC. However, we have great ambition as part of that resilient INDC to have also uh, mitigation, ambitious mitigation activities that we could produce out of that system.